Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I am so glad you're here. Um, Friday. Could you believe we hit Friday again this week? How many had like a month-long week? Was it just me? Everybody did? I mean, that's just a month-long week. <laughs> it felt like it was a month long, didn't it? I mean, just really, really long. Do you remember last Shabbat? <laughs> Do you remember what happened last Shabbat? Kind of? Not exactly? We, that was when we did Blessing Shabbat and stuff, right? Was that last week? Um, it's just been a really, really, really long week. And um, for those of you who haven't heard this spiel before, there are times, I think actually it was Deacon Don who did this to me that made me realize this. Last week, was it two years ago that we did that blog, that Lenten blog? Was that two years ago? That was... I thought I was doing something really cool, and then when I had to write, I was like, what was I thinking? Um, but one, we, we read a book together during Lent, and, um, and one of the things that the book made, Mudhouse Shabbat, the Sabbath, I guess they call it, made me realize is that if there's ever any doubt to me about whether there is a God, I look at Shabbat, and I know there's a God, because... If people were writing the rules, I don't know that we would have enforced a break time. I don't know that we would have done that, you know? And if we were enforcing a break time, I don't know that we would have enforced it once every seven days. There's just something about how awesome that is and how well it works out that makes me say there is a God. I mean, you could look up and you could see beautiful sunshine and you could see the trees and the flowers. Can I tell you something that happened today? I mean, speaking about really cool things that happened. Has anybody here ever been interested in looking at fossils? Have you ever been interested in seeing fossils? Somebody we know here? So we had today the 50th anniversary Bird High School reunion. <laughs> kids came today. Uh, yeah. Um, the kids. And, um, and a whole group of kids who were in confirmation class on the wall up there, and they tried to recreate their confirmation picture poses. <laughs> um, fifth, well, it's more than 50 years since confirmation. And one of the spouses, and we, they hadn't seen, most of them live out of town now, and they hadn't seen the renovation to our sanctuary. And one of the spouses, as we're walking along the hall, and the floor in the hall is new, we used to have cork, they were, we, we, all of a sudden, next thing I know, we're living on the floor because they're, the floor, the limestone, is filled with fossils that I hadn't seen before. And it was just, and there were big ones and little ones and little groupings of them, like a, a congregational meeting or something. <laughs> One of them had a whole minion of little fossils there, ten, <laughs> 10 little adult Jewish fossils in there. Um, and they're filled with fossils. And there are times when there are things like that, when you see awe in life, that's the easy part. Yeah, if there is a God and it's easy to th say thank you. But I have to tell you that when I realized that we, it's not just that it's a good idea, but we're obligated to, to you see, look over there, he's on the right job. Right, <laughs> Luke. See, my job is to put you to sleep during services because <laughs> then I've gotten you to rest. So I didn't mean to wake you. I was telling everybody to look because that's the thing. Um, so because you need to rest. So... Get comfy, brand new comfy seats, and, uh, and plan to rest a little bit because we need it. Because we work really hard, and we don't finish everything, although God tells us maybe to try to finish everything in six days. But on the seventh day, you have to rest. And why do you have to rest? Because God said so. <laughs> no, you, God, the God said so because there was this great bumper sticker that said 24-6. If it's good enough for God, <laughs> it's good <laughs> enough for us. And we yeah. can, I tell you, you could do this. So I hope you left all of your lists outside. They'll be there for you tomorrow night or, like I say, Sunday morning. If you want to wait until Monday even, they'll still be there. And you can rest and enjoy. Some of the things I want you to watch for during Shabbat services is that when Shabbat begins, you will start to feel that, according to Jewish tradition, on Shabbat you get an added soul. Do you know what that means to have an added soul? I'm not sure. So see if you can figure it out as we're doing this. My dad was a jazz musician, and soul meant something special in jazz terms. But maybe that's what it is. Whatever it is, I want you to feel what it is because it's going to be here, and you'll have it. 
I mean, I have an idea because I watch for it every week. So watch for your added soul. And uh, I'm well, I'd like to welcome all of our guests. We have Asbury Methodist Bible group, Bible study groups today. And so since we have a, a guest group coming after Onik Shabbat tonight, they're coming back here. We're going to get a chance to talk and answer questions. So anybody else who wants to join us is welcome to do that as well. But meanwhile, as we begin Shabbat, is there any tension in your shoulders? You feel it in your <laughs> neck? So if there is, and if there isn't, you still need to do this. Take a deep breath. And let it out slowly. And for those of you who just refuse to breathe because the rabbi told you to, or no, uh, the appropriate way of doing a relaxation breath is in slowly through your nose, out slowly, in from your nose, out from your mouth. And I want to remind you that when you're breathing in from your nose, if you remember way back, way before 50 years ago in the reunion that Bird had, way back to the very first breath that any human ever took, God exhaled through God's nose into this human shape's nose. So when you inhale through your nose, feel it and let it out. And know that every time you're taking it in, there's that extra soul. When you're letting it out, God is happy to take that back too. And give us some new stuff. Tonight, uh, to, in order to welcome Shabbat, we will be lighting blessing candles, blessing something that looks a little like wine. And I would <laughs> like to invite uh, Gigi Zielinski and Dr. Leonard Goldman to come up and help us blessing the wine and the candles. We need to begin our service on page... Page, did you figure out what the page is? 65. 65. Our tradition is you're as if you're in our home right now, and in our home we would be standing up for these blessings. So if it's comfortable for you to stand and sit, please rise. If it's not comfortable, we like to say you're standing with us in spirit. Page 65. As these candles give light to all who behold them, so may we give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, b'tzivanu l'hadlet ner shel shabbat. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You hallow us with your mitzvot and command us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Amen. Let there be joy. Let, Let there, there be, be light. light. Let there be peace. Let, Let there, there be Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kidishanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu We continue on pages 167 and 166 with the Kiddush, the sanctification of the day. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Amen. Amen. L'chaim. 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 <laughs> you, you are now welcome to be seated, but you've got to say Shabbat Shalom. Wish Shabbat a peaceful Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat to somebody Shabbat. you came in with, somebody you didn't come in with, Shabbat Shalom. Somebody you came in with, somebody you didn't come in with, hey Matt, Shabbat Shalom. Look who's here, Shabbat Shalom. Good show. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Did you get somebody you didn't come in with? Somebody you did come in with, somebody you didn't know, someone you did know. Peaceful Shabbat. We turn back to page 66, and we use our imagination mm. again. And in this case, <laughs> I don't think I told you that not only to, are you coming to a Shabbat service, but you also have arrived at the wedding of the Jewish people with Shabbat. And Shabbat, the bride, is about to enter any minute through those doors. 
Um, there are some traditions where people stand up and they look for her coming in, but um, you don't have to look. You'll, you'll know when she's here. On page 66, we welcome the Sabbath bride, or we welcome Shabbat as if a bride, as we sing this song. Shamor vizachor be dibur echad, ishmi anu el hameyuchad. Adonai echad ushemo echad, l'shem uti feret lichila. Lechad odi li krat kala, v'nei shabat nekabela. Lechad odi li krat kala. Shabbat nekabela, lihikrat Shabbat lechuven elecha, ki hi mekor habracha, merosh mi chedem nesucha, sof maase b'machshavat chila, lechad odi lihikrat kala, ne Shabbat nekabela. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness and of the impulse within us for justice and mercy, we pray that this hour of worship may be one of vision and inspiration. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in search, in search and, and in need. need. All, all who bring, bring to this place the offering of their hearts. hearts. May our worship here lead, lead us to fulfill our words and intentions with acts with of kindness, peace, and love. Amen. Amen. We have come together to strengthen our bonds with our people Israel. Like Jews of generations past, we celebrate the grandeur of creation. <laughs> like Jews of every age, we echo our people's ancient call for justice. A memory and hope. We are Jews, but each of us is unique. We stand apart and alone, with differing feelings and insights. And yet we are not entirely alone and separate, for we are children of one people and one heritage. Our celebration unites many separate selves into a single chorus. And we are one in search of life's meaning. All of us know despair and exaltation. All bear burdens. All have moments of weakness and times of strength. All sing songs of sorrow and love. May our celebration bring us strength along our way. In this circle of hope, in the presence of the sacred, May the heart come to know itself and its best, finding a fresh impulse to love the good. May our celebration lead us to work for the good, and may this Shabbat give strength to us and to our people Israel. Can you hear that? Mm -mm. Yay. <laughs> it's working. 
הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד. הנה מה טוב ומה נעים, שבת אחים גם יחד. It is good when we dwell together in unity. Many are the generations of Israel, and in every age, we have come together, to, we have sought the living God through Sabbath rest and worship. This time and place hold the power to increase our joy in the eternal. O oh God, even as we seek you in the sanctuary, help us to know that your glory fills all space. Make us understand that you are with us at all times, if we but open our minds to you. We feel the presence of your spirit in our homes and on our ways. We see the beauty of your creation in mountain, sea, and sky, and in the human form. We hear you in the silence of our own hearts, speaking the truths the heart knows. May we be your witness to the world, your messenger to all the earth. May we show forth your image within us, the divine spark that makes us human. יתקדל ויתקדש מרבה, ועל מה דברה חירותיה וימליך מלכותיה, וחייכון וביומכון, ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה בעגלה, ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן, יהא שמרה במברך. לעלם ועל מעל מאיה יתברך, יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל, שמה דקודשה בריחו, לאלמין כל ברכתה ושירתה, תוש ברכתה ונחמתה, דמי הירן בעלמה. ואמרו אמן. ברכו את אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. As day departs, as the dark of night descends, we lift our eyes to the heavens. In awe and wonder, our hearts cry out, Eternal God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. A vast universe, who can know it? What mind can fathom it? We look out to the endless suns and ask, What are we? What are our dreams and our hopes? What are we that you are mindful of us? What are we that you should care for us? And yet within us abides a measure of your spirit. You, you are, are remote, remote, but, but oh, oh how near. near. Ordering, ordering the stars in the, the vast solitudes of the dark, dark yet whispering in our minds that you are closer, closer than the air we breathe. For you have made us little less than divine and crowned us with glory and honor. With love and awe we turn to you, and in the dark of evening we seek the light of your presence. One and only God, you have made each of us unique and formed us to be united in one family of life. Be with us, Eternal One, as we seek to unite our lives with your power and your love. We proclaim now your oneness and our own hope for unity. We acclaim your creative power in the universe and in ourselves. The, the law, law that, that binds, binds world, world to world, world and, and heart, heart to heart. heart. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Shem 
You may be seated unless you're Grant, and then I need you up here. <coughs> Grant is our next bar mitzvah. Towards the end of May, we're getting closer, but we, uh, we still have a little time. He's getting there. And he's going to lead us in the Verhafta at the top of page 72. Yes, he can. Okay. <laughs> Anochi mitzavecha, hayom alevavecha, veshinan tam levanecha, vedibartam, veshitecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha vaderech, uveshoch becha, uvekumecha, ushatam laot ayadecha, vayuletotafot, Ben Necha Uchtav Tam Amizuzot Betecha Uvisharecha Leman Tizkeru Vasitem et Kol Mitzvotai Vitem Kirishim Leilohechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher Hoset Yechem Beretz Mitzrayim, Veyot Lachem, Leilohi, Ani Adonai Elohechem. If your voice gets any deeper, we won't hear you at all, man. <laughs> I can't believe that's Grant. That voice is deep. You're done. Thank you. Good job. We continue reading the translation on page 72. You shall love, love your, your eternal God, God with, with all your heart, heart with all your mind, mind with, with all, all your being. being. Set these words, which I command you this day, upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness, a world waiting still to be redeemed, give us, O source of good, the courage to say, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and your love. From Egypt, the house of bondage, we were delivered. At Sinai, amid peals of thunder, we bound ourselves to your purpose. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, we survived oppression and exile, time and again, overcoming the forces that would have destroyed us. Our failings are many, our faults are great, yet it has been our glory to bear witness to our God and to keep alive in dark ages the vision of a world redeemed. May this vision never fade. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we sing with one accord as Moses, Miriam, and Israel sang at the shores of the sea. <laughs> We praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, 
Help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. We praise you, guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. O God of Israel, may our worship on this day help us to grow in loyalty to our covenant with you and to the way of life it demands, the way of gentleness and justice, the path of truth and of peace. Bishameru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-berit o'olam ve'yu v'nei Yisrael o'ti le'olam o'ti le'olam o'ti le'olam Vishameru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-berit o'olam ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai asa Adonai et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz vishameru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-berit o'olam u'vayom ha-shvi shabbat v'yinafash Shabbat v'yinafash, Shabbat v'yinafash. Vishameru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat. La'asot et ha-Shabbat le'dorot ha-merit o'olam. That's what it says. It says on the seventh day, God, Shabbat v'yinafash. God Shabbat, that means Shabbat, that means he rested. And then Vayina Fash, and was re-souled. God got his soul back. Added soul. I call it rejuvenation. Ha <laughs> ha. Prayer invites God to let the divine presence suffuse our spirits, to let the divine will prevail in our lives. Prayer cannot bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city. But prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, and rebuild a weakened will. Please rise for the tefillah, which begins on page 76. Adonai, sifai tai tiftach, ufi yagi Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leah, Elohe Rachel. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'anora El ha'yon gomer ha'sadim tovim V'koneh ha'kol V'zocher ha'sde avot v'imahot U'mevi yigula l'vne v'neem L'man shmo v'ahava M'velech ozer u'moshia u'magen Baruch ata Adonai Magen Avraham Source of all being, we turn to you as did our people in ancient days. They beheld you in the heavens. They felt you in their hearts. They sought you in their lives. Now their quest is ours. Help us, O oh God, to celebrate the wonder of being. Give us the courage to search for truth. Teach us the path to a better life. So shall we, by our lives and our labors, bring nearer to a realization the great hope inherited from ages past for a world transformed by liberty, justice, and peace. Your might, O oh God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. You are the source of life and blessing. Help us to choose life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the fallen. Help us to lift up the fallen. You are the author of freedom. 
Help us to free the captive. You are our hope in death as in life. Help us to keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Your might, O oh God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. You are Kadosh, holy. Your name is Kadosh, holy. And those who strive to be Kedoshim, holy, declare your glory day by day. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el ha'kadosh. We praise you, eternal one, the holy God. God of Israel, may our worship on, on this, this Sabbath, Sabbath bring, bring us near to all that is high and holy. May it bind the generations in bonds of love and sharing and unite us with our people in common hope and faith. And through Sabbath rest and worship, may we learn to find fulfillment and joy in the vision of peace for all the world. You are with us in our prayer, love, and our doubt, and in our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble and pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance. And let our worship bring us closer to one another, so that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Eternal, Eternal source, source of good, good we, we give, give thanks, thanks for the, the numberless gifts and blessings that, that fill our days, for, for life, life itself, itself and its and endless variety, variety. For, for all that sustains, that sustains body, body and mind, mind. For, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for, and for the excellence of your Torah, Torah which, which deepens our life and enriches our days. Teach us, God of wonders, to work for a just and compassionate society, where all may share your gifts and the joy of freedom. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata Ubelech Adon Lekol HaShalom Shalom, Rav Yisrael, Amcha, 
טסים לעולם, שלום רב ישראל עמך, טסים לעולם, לטוב בעיניך לברך את עמך ישראל. Tassim le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim le'olam Tassim le'olam Tassim Until this point in the service, the words we pray have been words that have been given to us, handed down to us by our ancestors. At this point in the service, we get a chance to say the words that we came to say, the words in our hearts, as we pray silently. a lot of extra prayers that we need to say today because it's a many blessing kind of a day. I don't even know where to start. I'll tell you that's how many blessings we have to say on top of this. We need to turn to page 162 because we are about to start a new month and we always take the Shabbat before the new month and we say special blessings. It's a time to reflect and uh, get to say, you know, I hope for really good things this month. And we get to say that. So this month, we're about to start the month of something that's called, it sounds terrible, because it sounds like everybody's rushing to the emergency room. Because the name of the month is E-R. E-R, <laughs> which is usually spelled in English like I-Y-A-R, E-R. But um, we'll be starting the month of E-R, and actually the month of E-R is starting uh, Sunday and Monday. So we say this blessing, our God and God of our ancestors, may the new month bring us renewed good and blessing. May we have long life, peace, prosperity, and health, a life full of blessing, a life exalted by love of Torah and reverence for the divine, a life in which the longings of our hearts are fulfilled for good. Wondrous God, in ancient days you led our people from bondage to freedom. Redeem us now out of our exile from one another, making everyone one united people. We say... Rosh Chodesh Ye Biyame Rishon Usheni Visheni. The new month of Iyar begins on Sunday, Sunday and, and Monday. Monday. Together we say, God of, God holiness, of holiness, let, let the, the new month, month bring, bring for us, us and, and for, for the, the whole house, house of, Israel. of Israel life, life and, and peace, peace, happiness and joy, deliverance and comfort. And, and let, let us say, say Amen. Amen. 
And while we're counting time, we remember to count the Omer. We start counting on the second day after Passover, and according to the Torah, we're supposed to count 49 days, seven times seven weeks, and on the 50th day, we get a festival called Shavuot, which means weeks, where it's sometimes translated as Pentecost. The way we count that, because God says we have to count days and we have to count weeks, we have to do both. So the blessing says, we thank God for giving us commandments, making us holy, giving us commandments, and commanding us about counting the Omer. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedishanu, b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu, al svirat haomer. And we say, hayom arba'a asar yom, we're the 14th day, shehem shnei shavuot, which makes two weeks, la Omer. So we counted the days, and we counted the weeks. So now you're on top of things again. Um, and this week, officially Thursday, was Yom HaShoah, which is Holocaust Remembrance Day. Um, we will be commemorating that in the Shreveport Bossier area, our 32nd year of doing this as a united community, 32nd year of doing that, um, although it's the seventh year, as you know, from the liberation of Auschwitz. But for, for the Shreveport, Jew the Shreveport Bossier, general community. We're worshiping together for 32 years. Um, so I invite you, please, we're celebrating, we're, well, we're commemorating it this Sunday at 3 p.m. at St. Mark's. It changes churches every year. Everyone is welcome to come. But on page 184, we say, we have lived in numberless towns and villages. In too many of them, we've endured cruel suffering. Some we've forgotten. Others are sealed into our memory, a wound that doesn't heal. A hundred generations of victims and martyrs, and still their blood cries out from the earth. And so many, so many at Dachau, at Buchenwald, at Babiar, at Auschwitz. And what can we say? What can we do? How bear the unbearable or accept what life has brought to our people? All who are born must die. But how shall we compare the slow passage of our time with the callous slaughter of the innocent, cut off before their time? They lived with faith, not all, but many. And surely many died with faith, faith in God, in life, in the goodness that even flames cannot destroy. May we find a way to the strength of that faith, that trust, that sure sense that life and soul endure beyond this body's death. They have left their lives to us. Let a million prayers rise whenever Jews worship. Let a million candles glow against the darkness of these unfinished lives. This week, we commemorate on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday evening begins the the Day of Remembrance in Israel, Memorial Day, Yom HaZikaron. In Israel, I've always thought that it was a, a wonderful idea that their Memorial Day is immediately before their Independence Day. And that avoids things like Memorial Day picnics and just a day off for no, some of the things that we have in America, which when you come to think of it are kind of inappropriate for a Memorial Day. But in Israel, there is not one single family that has not been touched by loss. And so in Israel, they have a memorial day, and they honor and remember those who died fighting that ultimate battle. And then when that's over, they immediately switch into celebration for what it is that we have, what those people died for. And so we turn to page 182, because Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday evening to Wednesday is Yom HaZikaron, Israel Memorial Day. But Thursday, which begins Wednesday evening, is Yom HaAtzmaut, Israel Independence Day. We turn our thoughts to the land of Israel, cradle of our faith, a land hallowed by memory, a land of prophecy and sacred poems, where mystics and sages taught Torah. In all the ages of our history and in all the places of our wandering, we have remembered it with love and longing, saying with the psalmist, if, if I, I forget, forget you, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither, wither. Let, let my tongue, tongue cleave to the mouth, if I, if do, I do not, not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. 
And now we are privileged to celebrate Israel's rebirth. We recall with gratitude the vision of its pioneers, the devotion of its builders, and the courage of its defenders. In the desolate spaces of a never forgotten homeland, they have built villages and towns, planted gardens and established industries. We give thanks that out of the ashes of the death camps, there has arisen a land renewed, a haven where broken lives have been made whole again, an affirmation of our people's fidelity to its past and confidence in its future. At this point in our service, our hearts and our prayers are, those, are there for those who are ill or recuperating <coughs> as we turn to the inside back cover of our prayer books. Included in our prayers today, friends and family of our congregation, are Carl Bagey, Carrie Bollinger, Randy Collier, Val Gold, Susan Israel, Sister Mary Joan, Babette Caymans, Mark Kaplan, Sheila Lawrence, Jim Marler, Betty Ann Manheim, Gloria Meyer, Jada Wynn, Bill Otto, Justin Rakowski, Joanne Smith, and Stephen Zalanka. If you have other names that you'd like to add to our prayers, please call them out. Danny Camp. For all these names, for the names we hold in our hearts, and do not say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, in our hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We, we join, join our, our prayers, prayers with, the with the prayers of all who love them. them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch atah Adonai, Rofeh We praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. And we have a tradition to add, Misha berach avotenu v'yimotenu, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they've been called to serve. May they return home safely and let us say, Amen. Amen. I'm only going to take a moment because we had all these extra blessings and things to do today. I want to do a quick review. It's a wonderful thing to do on Shabbat is look back at your week. And I think the week feels like it was a month ago, but let me just tell you part of why. Last Sunday, we began the Jewish Film Festival. And, uh, and we had... How many people were here Sunday for the, came, went to the Robinson on Sunday for that film? Thank you. And so and we had Holocaust survivor speak and historian speak afterwards. And so how many people like to go to movies ever? Do you watch movies? Anybody mm -hmm. likes movies? Yeah, yeah. I love movies. And so having a film festival is a really wonderful thing. And I will be honest with you, most of us, there's nobody in this room I don't think that had any say in what the movies were going to be. And that makes me a little bit nervous sometimes when I look at them. But um, I did not get to see the movie, the Holocaust movie, on Sunday night. Um, and, and I was told that it was probably not a movie that I would have wanted to see. I was told it was a wonderful documentary of what had happened. But I don't do those very well. I, I've seen, and I, 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 it hurts. It hurts a lot. And so it's hard, and I didn't miss it because of that, but I missed it. Monday night, we had a conflict where we had films going on, but we also had the, the Louis and Rose Van Thyne lecture series at Centenary College. And I went to that, and I found that to be, I didn't want to like it, <laughs> because the people who organized it, I thought were supposed to include us in the decision making about when they had it, and they shouldn't have had it at a conflicting date, and who they invite, and I had no idea who this person was, and it turned out, in the end, that it couldn't have been a more wonderful choice for a speaker. Because this woman, who I think is just a pinch younger than me, was the, is the daughter of survivors from, 
from Denmark, from where Louis and Rose was from. And she didn't know them and she didn't know their story, but she took the time out to watch some of Rose's presentations that had been filmed. And she took the time to tell us things that those of us who knew Louis and Rose, we got to see them in a new way by seeing them through her eyes. Even though she didn't know them, she told us how honored and the, the Van Dyne family was in Denmark, that that was a family that was well known in the whole Jewish community, which wasn't a large community, but it was well known, that they were good, wonderful people. That helped. We knew who they were for us, but it was really a wonderful, powerful thing. And she talked about gender and genocide, and I'm going to be honest, there was a point in the, in the program where I thought I was going to have a heart attack, <laughs> because I, I can't hear that she said, you know, did gender make any difference in the Holocaust? And the answer is no. If you were Jewish, you were killed. It didn't matter if you were male or female or old or young. You were Jewish, you were killed. Final solution, that was it. And I, my heart just stopped and I, uh, I couldn't breathe. Um, and then the next day, I went to see the, let's see, Tuesday night, I saw, uh, which, what were they, what? I saw the shorts, I saw the shorts, that was fun. The, the woman in, the, in room six, a 109-year-old woman who played the piano, it saved her life. She got sent to Theresienstadt instead, and she's 109 years old, and she lost most of her family. She, and, and since then, in her 109 years, she also lost her son, and she, she lost so much in her life, and this woman was the epitome of joy. And, and it reminded me of the, the rabbi who was my, my, the head of my yeshiva when I was ordained, because he was 95 when I met him. May his memory be a blessing. And he said, you know, anyone who lost their faith because of the Holocaust never had faith to begin with. And he said, there's a difference between joy and happiness. Happiness could be eating a piece of cheesecake. Joy is always, it's who you are, it's how you look at the world. And when you watch this short, which is on Netflix, by the way, if you missed it at the film festival, you see what joy is like, and you see the importance of things like music in your life, and I loved it, and the other shorts. And then the next day, I had to watch two movies so I could get everything in, and um, I watched a movie that not everybody was brave enough to see, and that was Zohis Dom which was kind of like a Monty Python kind of a movie, but it had to do with Sodom, like the story Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was hysterical. I had a great time with it. Um, but it reminded me of a lot of things. All of this, and there's more, and I'll tell you about some of the more, but it reminded me that, that all of our life is about remembering, remembering things. Finding out your identity has to do with having an identity to begin with. If you weren't laughing during the Sodom and Gomorrah movie, it's because there were all these things that you missed. There were things, jokes, hitting you every single second, like Abraham sitting and eating some shrimp. <laughs> and, and God looks at him and says, is that shrimp you're eating? And Abraham says, yes. Oh, all gone. And God sits there and says, you know, I'm going to write this covenant thing for you. I know what I'm going to take off of your list, dude. <laughs> and I mean, and if you didn't notice that that's what was going on and you didn't know what that means, you lost it. That... Even if it's not part of who you are now, understanding that ties us all together. And then after his Sodom, we got to see um, Beneath the Helmet, which was a documentary eight months long, watching 18-year-olds to 20-year-olds, kids. My sons are 21 and 24, and, and these are kids who are now in charge of turning 18-year-old kids <laughs> into the soldiers that protect the country of Israel, the country where they grew up with bombs every day. And now they realize how important it is for them to defend it. And seeing Sarita, all grown up, because <laughs> Sarita was part of the people I knew when I moved here. She was whole two years old when we met her, and now she's 25, and, uh, and hearing her thing. And then last night we had the panel discussion with Bishop Duca about the movie Ida, which was a movie in, uh, set in Poland, where a young woman who was about to become a nun finds out that her family was Jewish, that she was orphaned from a family that was all murdered by a Polish family who took over her house, and now she was raised in a convent. So is she Jewish, or is she Catholic? And what does she choose, and what happens in that story? And if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix too. <laughs> you should watch it, it was powerful. I watched it twice, which brings me to another thing. A lot about life, a lot about memory, a lot about Judaism is, you gotta keep looking at it over and over again. Sometimes to see the nuances, you've gotta keep looking at the same things over and over again. 
Well, we've got an awful lot of things that you need to look at over and over again. I'm going to bring somebody back up to the Bima who hasn't been here for a month of Shabbats because he was traveling and having kind of Zen moments, I understand. <laughs> He's our new Jubu president. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, y'all. And happy to be back. Thank y'all. Um, Connie, I had a really good time uh, traveling uh, over Asia, and uh, uh, we, we had a good time with all the uh, different festivals and, and, and different cultures that we got to experience. And um, I, I'll just tell you real short about one of the unusual um, cultures that we, I had no idea about, but um, our last stop was in Thailand, and uh, we're in Bangkok, and uh, the last day, and um, they were celebrating uh, the water festival, okay, and they celebrate a lot of Buddhism is, is, is uh, celebrate the land, the, the, the the, um, the sky, the, the, the earth, the, the rivers, the valleys, wh whatever they want, everything. They have, they have a bunch of gods. We have one god, they have a bunch. And, um, and they're easy to get along with. And, and, uh, but this happened to be, uh, they were celebrating the, the festival of water. And, uh, and, and in order to celebrate that, um, they, everybody, and I'm talking about you know, Bangkok's millions and millions of people. And we so we drove through the markets and all over town, and uh, everybody, young, old, but particularly, I'd say from mm, 25 and under, and and I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people were walking through the streets, and everybody was carrying a water gun. <laughs> And, and if you can't imagine, and, and the fest was to get everybody wet. So, so, so you get squirted all the time. And there were people that have um, tubs of wa uh, buckets of uh, water on the street side, and uh, uh, they would uh, just take a bucket of water and, and splash you. And uh, and so I'd be taking a picture out the bus, and all of a sudden, I was like, where'd the rain come from? And uh, they were having a good time. They were smiling and. Uh, Everybody was happy. So, so to each his own, um, but uh, that's just a different uh, culture, a different ho holiday for them. So, so we, we welcome, uh, want to welcome the Asbury's to, to welcome us and see what our culture's like. But uh, we're, we're open for everybody. Thanks to Gigi and Leonard for uh, blessing uh, the wine and the candles tonight. Uh, a lot going on, and um, bear with me for a second. This, uh, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir, but... This Saturday um, at 3 p.m. at St. Mark's is the annual Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You're right. Is the annual Holocaust uh, memorial service. Uh, Nico Van Tine is going to be the keynote speaker. Uh, musical presentation. We'll light candles, uh, 11 candles in memory of the 11 million people who lost their lives. Um, of course, as you know, um, high school and middle school essay and poetry competition was held, and they're going to read the uh, winning entries. Um, so. I know we most of the people here go, and uh, so that's why I feel like I'm, I'm telling you, but uh, it's the 32nd year that we've uh, celebrated this, so please uh, join us uh, in celebrating this uh, day on, on Sunday, you're right, at 3 p.m. St. Mark's Cathedral. Um, monthly ladies' lunch with the rabbi, Tuesday, 11 a.m., bring your own lunch and take a break and eat in the parlor with the rabbi. Tot Shabbat, April the uh, 25th, that'll be next Saturday, 9 to 9.30, and it's very fun and very uh, way, a unique way to celebrate the Shabbat. Um, the next day, Sunday, April 26th, we're going to have the blood drive here in the morning. Please uh, uh, don't donate before and come and give us your blood. May the 1st, this will be um, the first uh, Friday night in um, May is graduation Shabbat and Simchas uh, Shabbat, so We'll honor the high school seniors as well as everybody who has birthdays and anniversaries in May. Two days later on Sunday, May the 3rd, uh, at 4.30 at Temple, uh, Major Avi Benov, Benov, a doctor who's a um, deputy of IDF Trauma and Combat Medicine Branch, will speak about um, Israel's um, defense uh, and how they save lives on and off the battlefield. No charge, and please, everybody, welcome to come back for that. 
then the next day uh, or next night monday may the 4th 7 p.m we're going to have uh, corporal jacob schick come and speak he was winning the america in the movie american sniper it's uh, a way for us to show that we stand in support of our military and the rest of our neighbors in our local community please invite all your friends and come speak and listen to jacob speak so that's going to be good no charge for that uh, debbie glenn wrote a book jewish american prig it's going to be sold for 12 bucks in the, the gift shop and proceed proceeds will go to the b'nai zion um, Gigi, thanks for uh, sponsoring the ONEG tonight and in honor of what it would have been her mother um, ethel weiss zelensky's 99th birthday so happy birthday to her mom donations were made uh, for pulpit flowers uh, in memory of nathan levi by susie muroff and in memory of uh, larry Shirley by uh, Jerry John Morton and Palmer Black. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you're under 13 and you're still awake, <laughs> then please come up and join us by opening the ark. Everybody else, please turn to page 148. Okay. Come on up, open the ark for me. Come on. Everyone else, turn to page 148. When the ark is open, come on. You want to come up? Josiah, you want to come up? No? All right, come on up. Oh, come on up. Open the ark for me. And everyone rise. Page 148. Open, open. Open. <laughs> Page 149. When the arcs are all closed, you may be seated. And you got a lot of people you can help crash boom. <laughs> Thank you. Watch fingers. Good job. Nice. You may be seated. We continue on page 51 and with an extremely heavy heart. I am sad to report that this past week um, we lost two important Americans who died defending us in foreign countries. We lost Specialist John M. Dawson, who served in the Army. He was 22. He was from Massachusetts, and he died in Afghanistan. And we lost Tech Sergeant Anthony E. Salazar. He was serving in the Air Force. He was 40. He was from California. And he died in Southwest Asia. May their memories be a blessing, and may we be forever grateful for them paying the ultimate price for defending us. We continue on page 151. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We continue on page 153. In nature's ebb and flow, your eternal law abides. As you are our support in the struggles of life, so also are you our hope in death. In your care, O God, are the souls of all the living and the spirits of all flesh. Your power gives us strength. Your love comforts us. O life of our life, soul of our soul, cause your light to shine into our hearts. Fill us with trust in you, and turn us again to the tasks of life. And may the memory of our loved ones inspire us to continue their work for the coming of your sovereign rule. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. 
We now recall the loved ones whom death has taken from us as we remember those who died at this season in years past. We take them into our hearts with our own. Those for whom we're observing your sites this week, the anniversary of their deaths, include Morris Anisman, Isidore Friedman, Salome Guardspain, Louis Golden, Alfred Grossman, Nathan Levi, Clara Lieber, Zell Lipson, Nellie Schwartz, Larry Shirley, Miriam Mandel Sklar, and Charles Zielinski. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise as together we praise your name. We rise on page 154. In some communities, the tradition is that only the mourners rise. In the reform movement, we have taken it upon ourselves to say Kaddish for everyone who died in the Holocaust and at other times who have no one left to say Kaddish for them. The translation is found on page 155. Bechayachon of Yomechon, Bechaye de Hol Beit Israel, Baagala of his man Kari, Vimru Amen. Yehe Sheme Rabam Mivarach, La Alam or Me Amaya. Yit Barach, Vishabach, Vid Paar, Vid Roman Vina Se. Vit Hadar, Vit Alev, Vit Halad, Sheme de Kusha, Brihu. La Elam in Kol Berhata, Vishirata, Tush Berhata, Venechamata. Da Amiran be Alma, Yumru Amene. Yehe Shalama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vehaim Aleinu, Valko Israel, Yumru Amene. O se Shalom Mimromav, who ya se Shalom, Aleinu Valko Israel, Yumru Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. Please be seated unless you're under the age of 13. <laughs> I need you up here if you're under the age of 13. Because in order for us to eat any of that yummy Oneg Shabbat food we've got out there, Oneg Shabbat, by the way, means joy of Shabbat. It doesn't mean refreshment of Shabbat. We need to say a blessing. Oh, yay! I love this soft stuff. I was so tired of that matzah stuff. Hold on. Underneath. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Underneath. Yeah, come on in. Everybody hold. Hold on. Hold on. You want to lead us? Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. All right, I'm going to hold this. Everybody grab some. Grab, grab, grab. Everybody takes a piece. Make sure there's pieces for everybody. Okay, some grab better than others, obviously. There's more for grown-ups up there that haven't been grabbed by little hands. Please rise for the closing benediction. There are lessons we can learn in life from going to movies. There are lessons that we learn in life by repeating things and finding memories and finding our identities through many places. One of my favorite lessons is what it feels like for us to be here together, worshiping together. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. May God's face always be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Shabbat shalom. Join us for Onik Shabbat, please.